Hey guys, this is Entity from Deuces Cracked here. I've got a quick video discussing how to do back of the napkin calculations on people's estimated hand ranges. This is something that's also known as combinatorial analysis. This is something that you'll see our video producers do very frequently in the videos we have on Deuces Cracked, and it's something that's pretty simple to do. As you play more poker, you'll have it memorized and be able to do it in no time. There are two different types of combinatoric solutions that you'll see frequently in Hold'em. The first of these is for unpaired hands like ace-king. In order to calculate this, multiply the number of available cards by each other. For example, for ace-king, there are four aces in the deck and four kings in the deck. That means that there are four times four or 16 possible combinations of ace-king. Knowing that there are four suits tells you that there's four combinations of suited ace-king, which means that there are 12 remaining combinations of ace-king. For paired hands, know that there are six combinations of any pair. You can calculate this by choosing the number of elements that you're interested in, two in this case, from the total number of elements from a given set. For example, looking at pocket aces, you're interested in a set of two cards from a set of four cards. Programs like Excel and calculators have functions designed specifically for calculating this, but I'll make it easy. There are six possible combinations of any pocket pair. When you remove one possible card, there are three remaining possible combinations. And when you remove two possible cards, there is one combination left. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the math on this, but if you're more interested in the subject, I highly recommend researching combinations, factorials, and permutations. There are several good articles online about this. Over time, this all becomes second nature, but let's start with a quick and easy example. Imagine that you hold pocket aces with the ace of hearts and the ace of diamonds. You're playing against another player and the flop is ace of clubs, two of hearts, and two of diamonds. You want to know how likely it is that he holds ace-king exactly. Because you hold two aces, and there's another ace on the board, you know there's exactly one ace left in the deck, the ace of spades. You also know that there are four kings left in the deck. Through simple math, you can multiply four times one and know that there are four possible ways that he can hold ace-king. To double check, you can also just look at the combination of cards in front of you. He could have the ace of spades with the king of clubs, the king of diamonds, the king of hearts, or the king of spades. Let's try this again with a slightly more complex example. You hold 10 nine of hearts and the flop is queen jack king. You know that your opponent only plays ace 10 suited, ace king, and pocket jacks through pocket aces. Your opponent puts you all in and you want to know how many combinations of hands you are currently ahead of. Let's pause the video for a sec and we'll run through the math. Okay, we're back. First off, because we hold the 10 of hearts, we know that our opponent has exactly three combinations of ace-10 suited. With one king, one queen, and one jack on the board, we know that our combination has three combinations of each of those sets. Pocket kings, pocket queens, pocket jacks. For a total of nine possible combinations. We also know that there are four remaining aces left in the deck and three remaining kings left in the deck, making 12 combinations that remain of ace-king. That leaves three combinations of hands that you're behind, and 21 combinations of hands that we're ahead of. He's all in, and we snap call. Simple stuff, huh? While you're watching Deuces Correct videos, it's very helpful to ask yourself how many combinations of hands the video producer might be up against when he's wondering whether he should call or not. Practicing this while you're away from the tables makes it incredibly intuitive to calculate ranges while you're at the table. You can do simple combinations like this when ranges are well-defined, but you can also use tools like Combinator to help you estimate more complex ranges when the situations and scenarios become more advanced. If you have any questions, as always, please post them in the forums. This has been Entity for Deuces Cracked, signing off.